we are a speechless apple. I'm Jadis. I'm Alyssa. Mm. Right now, we're going to do our talk on one of our favorite Japanese, Japanese artists. artists. We're going to we say artist, not idol. Yeah, you know? we. Yeah. So, like, we have this artist from Japan. He's from Avex. Yes, he is. And he he is, is a wonderful. solo artist. Wonderful. He's a solo artist. He's a. I believe his genre is hip hop and R and B. Mm -hmm. I believe. But he does a lot of different kinds of music nowadays. Now I've noticed he's gone more. He's like, more experimental. Yeah, he's more. I mean, experiment it's still yeah. it's still plenty R and B. It's just like he's like different kinds of R and B. Yeah, he's been experiment experimenting a lot with different sounds lately because like he's been doing a lot of dubstep lately as well. And so like the person we're talking about is none other than Mira Daichi. Mira Daichi is so wonderful. So like he's fabulous. So how did I find him? I found him through, I believe, right, right. Okay, so there's this one website called jpopasia.com. It was on there. It was like, oh, featured music video, Mira Daichi, uh, Answer. Yeah, it was Mira Daichi's song called Answer. And I was like, oh, I was okay. like, and it was like, it was like, oh, R&B. And I was like, wow, I'm really, like, missing out on, like, slow songs right now. So I clicked on it. I was like, this is really nice. And so that's when I was like, this guy is, like, a keeper as an artist. And then she was wonderful enough to introduce me to the miracle that is Mira Daichi. Yes. I, I must say, of all of, of the many artists she introduced me to, he's in my top five favorite. Oh, yeah. So, Most yeah. definitely. And so, like, Mira Daichi also has um, one song that he did with Boa. When Boa was, um, she was promoting in Japan, um, she did a duet song with him called Possibilities. Is uh, the full video is on AVEX Network, if mm -hmm. you want to go check that out. Maybe I'll have a link in the description or something, because I... Or maybe I'll be fancy and put it in annotations. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fancy, fancy. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, still, like, I'm still trying to figure out how to edit videos and, like, do that on YouTube and whatnot, so... Yeah. <laughs> so, Mira Daichi, like, Mira Daichi, he sings, he dances. Um, they say, like... Guy version of Boa. Yeah. Um, he's very... His voice is very smooth. It's, it's really... unique. Yes. How he has that? a very... His te the texture of his voice, there aren't many people who can pull that off as a singer. Oh, yeah. Um, and on top of that, um, this is one thing that I really like about Japanese artists in particular. Like... Um, they sing live. They sing live. They sing live. And not only that, they have amazing state amazing stage presence. Because here in the States we freaking love an artist that does that does great on the stage. Yes. That's why everybody freaking loves Beyonce. They love Usher, Justin Timberlake, Mother Alicia Keys. Song. Alicia Keys, she is so amazing. Yes. Because like um neither of us were really great fans of her song Girl on Fire at the beginning. No. But she, when she performed it, that's when I fell in love with it. Anyway, but like, yeah, yeah. And so it's like Mira Daichi has that stage presence that yes. a lot that we Americans love. Yes, and so I'll do a lot of other um, Japanese artists. Yes, and because um, for me, even if you have a nice voice, if you don't have, if you're not star material, I'm not gonna listen to you. Mm -mm. It's like really though, like like honestly, the stage performance makes it for me. Yeah, and like, honestly, like some Korean artists, like I honestly don't, don't like watching their music videos. AKA boyfriend, I'm like boyfriend, I like your music. I don't like you like watching your music videos, okay. but like you performing, I like watching that. Yeah, Infinite as well. Like I love watching Infinite perform. Like, yes, I love watching them dance. I literally sit there watch them TV dance yeah. for like five hours straight, and I have no problem with it. And then of course there's um, Korea's number one super group, TVXQ. TVXQ. And um, Mira Daichi has that kind of presence. Whenever mm -hmm. I whenever I Whenever I watch him perform, yes. even in videos or on on a stage, mm -hmm. like through, if I can feel the presence through a video on YouTube, oh yeah, then you know this dude's got talent. I feel like he's like a Japanese version of Ginho. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he's except dancing. he doesn't except he doesn't rap. He doesn't rap, you guys. But I I do feel like he's like a Japanese version of Ginho. Yeah, he's a great singer, great dancer. Um, he commands the yeah. stage. The, he, thing, the thing also with Mira Daichi that I really like he is He helps he, choreograph his own stuff, doesn't Not he? only does he help choreograph his stuff, like, some stuff is choreographed by himself only, but he also helps with his own music. That's yes. why it takes so long for him to, like, come out, come out with stuff, because he, like, makes it himself, almost. Yeah. Like, and he when, does everything himself, almost. Yeah, when you make stuff yourself, it's more personal, and yeah. you, can, you can feel the music better. Yeah. So, like, like if, it's, if a song, like, is written for you, then you don't really understand what this person lyrics, is thinking yeah. of when they said a song. Yeah, you, can, it, you can come close, but you can never actually get that exact feeling. Yeah. But if you wrote yeah. it, 
That's a totally different yeah. story. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, if you write a song yourself and you choreograph it yourself, then it's like, you could like... You know what you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing because he, his choreography is absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Like, if he wasn't an artist, he'd be a choreographer. Yes. Because um, what I like about his choreography is there's always that one thing in the song that just stands out. Mm -hmm. It's different from anything he's ever done before. There's always that one thing. Yeah. I mean, it could be the same move that he's used before, but it's like at this point where you you swore you'd never seen it before mm. until you watched yeah. something else. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and also it's like it flows. And, it, and for one, it goes with the song, mm -hmm. which I, yeah, some, some K-pop dances don't really go with the song. Um, for a set example, if there's a slow song, sometimes you don't need to dance. No. Just saying. <laughs> Unless you're Miro Daichi, then. Unless you're Miro Daichi. Yeah. Because then you manage to find a way to make it work. Yeah, and because it, like, because, like, sometimes, like, the dance, like, the song, it doesn't really need a dance, but it's, like, like, his two hearts, mm -hmm. his song Two Hearts, he has a dance to it, but, like, it's not, like, overly, like, complicated or whatever, but yeah. it actually suits the song itself, because, mm -hmm. like, there's a lot of hand movements and whatnot that match the lyrics itself. Mm -hmm. So I'm just, like, I'm, like, for, for like, if you do it like that, I really do actually appreciate you choreography, like, choreographing, like, something like that into the song. Yes, and on top of that, with his voice, he always melds it really well with the music. Oh, yeah. Because it's really hard for an artist to match the music. Like, even here in America, there are plenty of artists. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, I think it's any, everywhere, really. Yeah. And there are artists, like, they're amazing singers, but, like, it's like they, they don't match found. their instrumental. Yeah. They don't. Like, they don't match the instrumental. I think it's because, like, Mira Daichi also, like, helps write his music. Yeah. So then it's, like, he knows like, what it's... Like, a lot of artists have accused of over-singing or under-singing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's yeah. really because they haven't met that harmony with their music. Yeah, and I feel like because Mira Daichi writes his own music, he his voice matches with. Because yes. I mean, he works with. Dub, he's been doing a lot of stuff with dubstep recently. Yeah, and dubstep is really hard to match to. But when you do it yourself, you know how the song is supposed to go. Yeah. And so with his songs, you feel a flow between his words and the yeah. dubstep, and it doesn't sound awkward like, at like all. His, anywhere. the first song, as far as I know, that he used dubstep in was called Black Hole. Mm -hmm. And then the most recent one that he came out with, like in the beginning of this year, is called Right Now. So that song, there is the basis dubstep. So mm -hmm. it's like the base of the song is dubstep. So if you like dubstep, go check out that song as mm -hmm. well. So yeah, it's like it's like it's dubstep done well. Like honestly, like yeah. some of the best. Because me, I'm not really a big fan of dubstep. Yeah, but I'm willing to listen to anything that sounds good. Yeah, and he made it sound really good. Yeah, like so. I, I I had her listen to the song. She's like, whoa. <laughs> Because honestly, um, TVSU's Catch Me had dubstep, but I, it took me a while to like Catch, it. Catch Me and Humanoids had dubstep. Yeah, Humanoids was a lot lighter yeah. on the dubstep. But um, I didn't really, I don't really like dubstep, and I didn't really like Catch yeah. Me that much. But um, I really liked. Um, it was like CG's M's um, Breakdown. Like Breakdown had dubstep. Yeah. But then it wasn't done that well. Yeah, I feel like it was kind of put on the back burner. Yeah. You know, like, they were more focused on other things. So, yeah, and then, like, it's also, like, another thing. It's also kind of sad that Mira Daichi can't go out of Japan. I know. Because we'll, we'll be honest with you guys. He's not the best-looking guy ever. He's not. He's not. He's not the best-looking guy ever. But it just pains me to think how, like, people rely so much on the visual that is, like, he not being able to look as good as he could. It means that he can't, like, go international. Yeah, at, pains me to say that, but that's very true for a lot of people. It's yeah. like, just because he's the, not only... as good looking as other people, he can't go to, like, Korea yeah. or whatever, because everyone's going to be like, oh, he's ugly, I'm not going to listen to his yeah, music. Yeah, because in Korea, like, they have a plenty of not people who aren't that good looking, but the people they send overseas are only the best looking people. Yes. No, Dachi, his music's not only, it's not catchy. It's not. It's really not, like, um, Except for right now. Right now, it's kind of catchy. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's kind of catchy, but, like, honestly... I think like, that's the point of this. Like, but the thing is, the song is a dance song. It's, yeah. like, living in the moment, so it's, yeah. it's like, the catchiness yeah, only so adds that, to the feeling of the yeah, song. Yeah, but, like, for me, it's, like, especially with other Japanese artists, but... Most gonna, of the stuff's, like... It's not catchy. It's more, like, the lyrics or the instrumental and whatnot. Mm -hmm. It's not just there to be catchy. It's not. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, like, they're all very memorable in their own way. Yeah. It's, like, like his song um, right now is, like... Like, the song itself is kind of catchy, but, like, 
you know, like, what for me, the most memorable thing is the dance itself. Yes. The dance itself is very memorable. It's like, you guys think your K-pop groups got complicated stuff. It's like, yes, they have do. You, have you seen Yes, they do, like but I'm like, that, like, as a solo artist, your thing should not be that complicated. It really shouldn't. And he also performs live he performs almost live. every single time. Yeah, it's like, it's like you take how Boa performs live, yeah. live when she's always dancing, take that and put that on Mira Daichi. And yeah, that's so what you he get. Does. He... He does it all live. He does, like, all the dancing, all the singing himself. Mm-hmm. Other than the harmonization parts, because he can't do that, because he yes, can't he sing. does have a group. Yeah. He doesn't have, like, two voices at the same time. But, yeah, but, like, it's like he sings and dances at the same time. And I'm like, as a solo artist, I don't think your choreography should be that complicated. But, yeah. Yeah. It's like, and then also <laughs> with me as a singer, um, um, I know my biggest problem is support. Mm. But That's a big problem is, with a lot of artists. Well, idols, I feel. Yes, and the thing is, if you know you don't, you're not good at supporting. Work your butt off to do it, because it's really hard to support a strong voice when you're dancing so much. Yes, especially when you're dancing, because you're singing and you're dancing, and you need to be able to pull that kind of air out of you. And you need to know what it is. Yeah, and honestly, Mira Dachi does that well. Oh man, he does, he does, does that so, so well. If he can make, if he can make it sound better than the actual recording. He does that so well, because like, he'll do, like, the same, like, he'll do, like, average show is, like, an hour 30. Mm-hmm. And so he'll do a whole entire show himself. Yeah. Like, he's, like, dancing, he's singing, he's, like, mm-hmm. emceeing, he does everything himself. And I'm just like, how the freak are you doing this? You're only one person. Mm-hmm. I'm like, how? Why? You're, like, Superman or something. <laughs> he was Super Junior. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, What? <laughs> I'm sorry, whenever I hear Superman, I think of Super Junior Superman. Such an epic song. That that song is pretty epic. But yeah, I'm just like, that's how I feel about Mira and it just like pains me to see that. He can't go abroad because he's not good looking. It's okay, Mira Dechi, you can just come to the States. We don't care he's if you're not good looking. looking. We don't care if you're good looking. Se. Come here. Come here. But like honestly, when he starts dancing and singing, I'm just like, damn. <laughs> yeah. Just even just keep in mind, if you can sing and dance and you're not that good looking, don't worry. Yeah, like if you can sing and dance. Ladies will come. Yeah, because, like, honestly, like, for me, like, for me, like, the big thing, like, I see in guys is, like, like, I mean, like, sure, it's, like, they can physically look really nice. That's just a bonus and, like, for me. handsome. Like, that, yeah, that's definitely a bonus. Like, for me, it's, like, it's, like, for me, I feel like, um, if a guy is doing something well. Well. And like, then he likes it and he's doing it well. well. That's really attractive for me. Mm-hmm. So then it's like, even Minoru Daishi, he's not that good looking. But, but like, he's I admit, so good at singing and dancing. I admit, I admit, he's not that good looking. But like when he starts singing and dancing, I'm just like swooning over him. And that's like the same thing with and all the thing is, I bands. don't like guys who are shorter than me. And I'm almost certain that he's shorter than me. It's- I'll be all really? I thought I thought we looked that up. I thought he oh, was like five ten or something. He's like five ten. Really? Yeah, I thought we looked that up. Did we? I think so. I think he is Wasn't like that five. Kami? No. Oh okay. No. Oh, so he's taller than we thought. Yeah, I think he's taller than we thought. Yeah. I'm pretty sure because uh, we we looked that up one day. Oh yeah, we did, huh? Or, the, or was that Takio from Google World? No, that was Mira Daichi. No, Mir- that was Mira Daichi. Takio is definitely short. Yeah, that, that, that was definitely Mira Daichi. Okay, yeah. So he's like 5'10". What are you talking about? My bad. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm the short one here. Sorry. Yeah, I'm the short one here. What are you Fun talking size. about? <laughs> yeah, that's our little rant on Mira Daichi. Go yeah. check him out. Some of his songs you should check out is um, Right Now. his Black most recent. Right Now is the most recent one. Um, Two Hearts was the one that came in out before right now mm-hmm. there's black hole which is also dubstep like right now um the first song i found from him was answer and then uh he just has like a bunch of different songs just look up mira daichi you'll find yeah the mira daichi he's from avex network they have a lot of videos on him but you know avex is evil and, and they do that like, have videos yeah and they only do that with popular artists though because mm-hmm. you notice like when he wasn't that popular that he they would actually upload the whole entire song for him mm-hmm. But, like, now that he is popular, now that he did finish his first Budokan concert, Budokan. congratulations. Now they're only uploading half of the video now. So I'm just, like, mm. sad face. But, yeah, you can always find those videos on, like, j Somewhere. Yeah, don't, somewhere. Don't give, don't, give, don't give them the, the websites, because then they'll take them down. Oh. Well, they still take them down anyway. You could probably find them. Yeah, but it'll take them. It'll, take them, it'll be faster. Oh. W- whatever. Yeah. You guys just... Find just, it. just like Google it, you'll probably find it somewhere. <laughs> the miracles of the internet. The, the miracles of Google. Google is wonderful. Just search them up on Google. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay.
Bye. Bye.